What is happening everybody? Welcome back to the lawn. So we've done a little bit of dethatching. What are the next steps? So this morning I dethatched from that tree all the way to the driveway here. Looks like a small area and that is because this was my first time dethatching and it just simply took me a while to do this small section. What I'm going to try and do is I know in that video I said I was not going to overseed but you can see some spots like this area right here where it really needed some help. And overall, grass does look pretty healthy. I think a light little overseed will help fill in some of these spots. The yard is mostly bluegrass, and what I will be overseeding it with is turf type tall fescue. So that will introduce a little bit of that mixture in there, which I actually like the look of that because I used to have that at the old house, but it was mostly turf type tall fescue. Besides the general over seating which will I'll show you how I'm going to do that I'm going to tackle spots like this and these bare spots and show you how I'm going to tackle those as well so for the bare spot I have a little bit of this GCI turf seed that is left so I'll be mixing this into what I have here from lawn and pest supply huge shout out to them I won this in a contest so not paid or anything like that but I am very much excited to try this out this is their clean seed fescue blend I've heard great things about it very excited to put this down in the lawn back here on the back it gives you great recommendations on if you're going to overseed or if you're just going to sprinkle you know how to apply directions like that and what i'm going to be using to fill in the bare spots is just a topsoil that i have here lying around the house so with spots like you see here i'm going to start with a layer of topsoil sprinkle a little bit of seed down and then put a small layer of topsoil right over the top of it because what that's going to do is it's going to allow for a good foundation for the seed to grow into it's also going to help with something over the top of the seed to keep it moist and hopefully keep the birds away from eating it and then at the end you'll see when we do our broadcast over seed some seeds will go into the top of that as well just by naturally being broadcasted all over the lawn so that's the reason why we're doing these first before we do our broadcast seeding. So I'll show you now how I'm going to do this. Okay, those sweats are done. This is the biggest one, of course, the biggest area of all of them. It's the least amount of water of the entire yard. But we'll see how this one, how this stuff grows in. So let's move on to the broadcast. So this is what I was talking about when you'll see after the fact. So this is my broadcast now. So I've got a little bit of seed with a little cover. Now I've got what's been broadcasted a little bit. So I'm just going to simply go around and on these spots, just going to get the seed to soil contact on those. And honestly, from this point forward, it's just all about the water. The success is all determined by the prep and also the watering. So what I'm going to do to make sure that I do get great success here, uh, because I have the ease of a system, I'm probably going to set my zone one and zone two, which covers this front area. I'm going to set that up for probably four times a day at five to seven minutes per session. And hopefully with the topsoil and things like that in my preparation, that will keep the seed moist enough to get some nice germination over the next week or so also the good news because this is tall fescue um, it should germinate probably within five to seven days if i'm doing my job correctly so essentially i'm going to wrap it up here i do have to come and blow any seeds uh, into the lawn that might have gotten onto some sidewalks but after that it's just time to water appreciate you tuning in today as always and we'll catch you later peace Huge, huge shout out to Lawn and Pest Supply for the clean seed. Super excited to see how this mixes with my front grass and my Kentucky bluegrass. I think it's going to look so good.